Today we're going to take a look at using Lightroom to create a PDF collection of images and also adding titles to those images uh, for reference when you're discussing them or receiving feedback on them. So uh, we have Lightroom open here and these images are already brought into Lightroom and uh, just like when you make a contact sheet I have certain images that are already flagged here. So just click in the corner, uh, you know, turns the flag icon on and off. Uh, and that's useful because now I can go through and get rid of the rest of the images in this library view by going down to the filter, clicking on flag, and just focusing on the images I want to work with. So i uh, got eight images here, and uh, there's some information in the sidebar that it tells you stuff like the file name, uh, camera settings, all that kind of stuff. But... What's useful here for the PDF is it also has a uh, blank space here that I've already filled in on a couple of them for title. So uh, for instance, this one's called Side Street. Um, I'm just using my arrow keys to go over the next one, Urban Flora, Photographer, TV Steps. Uh, this one does not have a title yet, so I'll go ahead and call this uh, Dirty Window. Pretty dirty window there. Um, this is like a mill parking lot or something like that. A uh, little gravel parking lot. Yeah, really creative uh, title names I'm coming up with here today. So tracks and bridge. All right, so uh, I've got all my images named. So at this point, I'm ready to go to the next tab up here, print, which is normally where you'd go to make a contact sheet. And I'm going to use some of the options in here to actually set up my uh, PDF so that there's one image per page. So normally you'd select flagged photos uh, so that this is what you're actually using, the ones that you flagged to create this PDF. Uh, and they have all these different templates over here. Now we only want one image per page so people can really see your work. So you can select something like this uh, one large with stroke preset. Um, Max size actually zooms in on it, so let's see, is that going to be the best option? Yeah, max size looks like it's doing all right, too. So you have a couple different options that might work for you over here. Uh, coming over in my settings, however, since I shot some of these in portrait and some in landscape, it is trying to do this rotate to fit. Uh, I'm going to unclick it so that my you know, end user can actually see the photo right side up without having to turn their head or rotate the PDF or anything. And now all eight photos are showing up fairly large within the box, but I still don't have my title showing up yet. So scrolling down in the sidebar a little bit further here, I'm actually gonna go to the page settings. And just like uh, with the exposure settings, we can also make this title show up on the image. So I'm gonna check off the box and it defaulted to the file name, but if I scroll down under the drop down, I can actually get title. Hey, Urban Flora, yay. So now I can kind of go through and just make sure my titles are all showing up. Looks awesome. Um, so now I'm pretty much ready to uh, assemble all these images into the PDF. So I'm going to go down to my print job options to check a couple more things here. Uh, normally, you'd be doing this JPEG file for the contact sheet, but if you do the drop down, you can select printer instead. And the only real setting that uh, you need to maybe change here, um, I would make sure your print resolution, this uh, pixels per inch is set somewhere between 200 and 300 PPI. And that just means when people open the PDF and they zoom in on these images, they'll actually be able to see the resolution that you uh, captured the image at and see all that detail there and get the full experience. Um, so titles are showing up, uh, my images are showing up rotated correctly, I've got my uh, print resolution set, so now I'm just going to go down and click on printer, and I'm not actually going to print this thing, but what I am going to do is come down here in the corner, and I'm working on a Mac, so this might look a little bit differently on a Windows computer. Uh, you might have a save as PDF option, you might have a print to PDF option, it's, um, you know, your mileage is going to vary on that. But uh, I'm just going to click on my drop down and do save as PDF. And it's going to ask me what I want to call it. Where do I want to save it? I'm just going to do it on my desktop for now. And I'm going to put my name on this thing. Uh, I don't know. How about photo essay 
milestone two. And saving it on the desktop. And you do have a little progress bar here. Uh, so if you go out of the program, you will see a little icon. I'm just going to go grab it off the desktop here. It's, uh, you know, it's still baking. It's not ready yet. Um, but as soon as that status bar is done, all of your images should be zipped up into that PDF. Yay. So now I have this little icon on here. Uh, I'm just going to slide this out of the way so we can see this. So I have this little icon that I can actually go through and double click on my PDF. And this is going to show up a little bit outside the viewing windows. So let me see if I can bring that back into view for you guys. There we go. And I can just scroll through my PDF and all my images are showing up there. Uh, so, you know, you can zoom in some zoom tools, kind of check out what's going on here. Check out the titles, read the photo reflection and know what is going on there. So, um, yeah, I, you, you guys can do this using uh, Lightroom uh, since you've been using this as a tool for your contact sheets. Uh, there are some other ways with Adobe, such as uh, if you have the full Adobe Creative Cloud suite, you can download Adobe Acrobat and uh, use that to create PDFs as well. But uh, this is pretty straightforward. And once you figure out how to add the title and send it out to the printer and save it as the PDF, you can see it uh, creates some nice high resolution images for people to view on the other end. So uh, good luck. And I look forward to uh, checking out your photo essays.